Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos. Welcome back to Cloudpunk. So last time we made our start in Novalis with our lead character Rania. We're working for an illicit delivery service called Cloudpunk that delivers things that the corporations um, deem illegal. We've, uh, we've been verified by the security uh, and we've been sent on a bit of a, a dodgy pickup here, I believe, by Control, who either thinks we're going to get in trouble or we're going to get hurt or we're not ready or good enough to deliver this package. So, yeah. Interesting. The city's beautiful. The voice acting's a little bit all over the place, but uh, I think it works. It works well enough. Let's get onto the highway. And motor. So, yeah, I guess the question is... Um, how dangerous are these deliveries going to be depending on, you know, because if, if we're making illicit deliveries, doing delivering illegal goods, you know, how dangerous is this going to get for us? We, of course, met our dog as well. We could do with some uh, radio stations, right? We're in Cumbria Heights. Beautiful. Yeah, the music kind of comes and goes. I don't know how to trigger it. Another punch card. All right. Excuse me, little robot. Control, I'm at the destination and no one is here. Control, Camus, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. Excited. Want to help? <laughs> yes, Camus. Can you Camus. scan the area? Local scan. Look for ID chips on possible delivery containers. I don't know how. Wait, I know how. I think. What is box? A box is a square cube. No, what is that box? It's right there. Okay, I see it. I guess that's the package then. Why is no one here? I have bad feelings. Me too, yes. Camus. A square cube, that doesn't make any sense. Um I thought he was coming to get me. Alright, Control, what have you got for me? I hear noise. What noise, Camus? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Uh oh. From the package. I hear it too. I still have bad feelings. It's a One bomb. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, this is Driver 14 FC. Come in, this is important. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. Control, why is this package ticking? I don't think you should have to do this. Call me. Fine, I'll tell her. Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. I've been informed that you're to stop calling us about the package. Deliver it quickly. That is all, please. No more communication until delivery. Camus, I don't know what to do. I am nervous. Why? I am nervous because you are nervous. Maybe <laughs> we can throw away the TikTok. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Maybe I could dump it at the trash chute in Section 8B. That sends it into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Nothing ever comes back from there. Will Mr. Control be mad? Yes, but I get a bad feeling too, Camus. I think it will be bad either way. I want to help, but don't know what to do. I know, Camus, I know. I just have to make a call on this one. Hmm. OK. 
okay. So we either go deliver it to the destination we've been told. It's sketchy, we've been told not to ask questions. Control thinks we shouldn't have to do this. Or we can go to the, uh, the tra trash heap, did they say? And get rid of it. Hmm. We're at a literal crossroads, guys. All right, here's our intersection. All right, which way should we go? Drop the package into the trash chute or deliver the payload to the metro hub. Well, if we deliver it to the trash chute, aren't we just going to lose our job? Even if we do have a bad feeling. Let's just take it, man. I don't know if it's a bomb, then we're essentially delivering a terrorist... a possible terrorist attack, right? Alright then. Based on that knowledge... If we are, in fact, delivering a bomb... Then we might be saving people by getting rid of it if we go in this way. Might be consequences to this though. Control told me there are only two rules, and I think we already broke them both, Camus. I guess we just tell Control we lost it? I am frightened. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Maybe I won't even be fired. Really? I no, doubt it. Definitely will be. Hey, I mean... If it's a bomb, then we were delivering it. This is control. Is there anything you want to tell me about that last job? No, nothing. All right. Well, I'm just glad it went okay. For your next delivery, please proceed to the following nav point to collect okay. the package at Life Corp Industries. Life Corp. You'll need to find a way up to the roof of the building. Our client didn't leave us an access code, but, um, well, you're a smart kid. You'll think of something. Control out. Yes, I wonder how I would get to the roof. Oh, I can't go that high, can I? Pick up payload at Life Corp Industries. There's a very sinister looking picture of someone. <laughs> Actually, what I could do... Is just... Just move myself a little bit. I think that works. There we go. Payload at Life Corp. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to have bad consequences. I don't know how... Oh, oh, I've got the Metro, I've got the train. Awesome. Oh, look at that, man. Awesome. So we need to find a way onto the roof, which would suggest we can just drive our car there, right? Don't think we can, though. It there, we'll have to park in a normal space. There we go. 
Yeah, we got uh, we got Teco. Hello there, Teco. Who are you? Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Who's her? Seen who? Nari. Nari. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. I can see some of your endoskeleton. No, I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. Who is Nari? She is gone, and when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Oh no, an emo. Can't you call her? She does not answer. An emo Maybe robot. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Oh, um, sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was just in one, but stop just, guessing. you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. Don't put ideas in his say, head. The city is too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here then. Maybe the marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari. Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. I will. I wasn't expecting to make notes. You should I suppose I should always expect to make notes. Nari. I need to look for Nari. Look for Nari in the marrow. Got you. Okay, does that appear on the map or anything? It's like a side objective. No. Okay, so we need to find a way inside Life Corp. You. What's that? A ticket in our flyer. This card says it's for an Android dating agency, but it doesn't say if it's a dating agency for androids, for humans that want to date androids, or for androids that want to date humans. Right, how on earth do we get up here? Oh, there's a, there's a lift. How do we get to the lift, though? Let me in here. Um, how do we get round to that lift? Is there a path that goes around the outside? Hey, Julia. Your face looks familiar. Do you need some stems? Sure. Pheromones. Thanks. See you again. Soon. Uh, okay. I don't think I did anything then. I can't go through there. Huh. Oh, I turned the hood off, didn't I? That's what I did by accident. Huh. I can't get there from here. Hmm. Let's try and get around the other side. I mean, we can't go in buildings, right? So, or jump or anything, so. We go in the nightclub. Oh, damn it. Okay, into another little section. I don't think this is going to lead us around there. 
Another punch card. What does this do? Okay, I have no idea how to get there. Unless you can get out of your car wherever you want and I've misinterpreted that bit. Let's go back to the car. See, man, we need the music. Is there an option to like get the music back on? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, there's no car park on that side. So there's life core. Okay, so how do we get up here? No, we can't park here. We need to get up here somehow. really missed the point here. How do we get up here, man? Is there a way to get um, get on this lift that I just completely missed? Let's just park again and see if I missed something. Oh, I just missed something. This your boy Rory Alpha giving you a shout out from Midtown where I am with the people. Yes. Like this young lady here who is desperate to have her say on the Undernet's hottest loudcast. Could you get the microphone away from me? Oh, we have here another stuck up young woman too busy <laughs> shopping and using makeup. We I spoke to him to be fair. Because it is really lies to trick men. And she doesn't even have time to talk to my listeners, the Bro Brothers. Your listeners are called the Bro Brothers. That's right. The Bro Brothers are my pack. Am I right? Oh, oh. And your show is about? Finally giving the bros a chance to speak out, to have their say. Yes. I don't think you want me on your show, and I sure don't want to be on it either. Now let's try to talk to someone better, Bro Brothers. We got to find the real voice of the people. 
We need a real man yes. on this show. Yeah. Am I yeah. right? How about that corpse tech officer? He seems to be looking at you. He seems like a real man. All right, bros, we're gonna boost now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit up that notification bell, and I, I gotta go. Okay. Ah, for God's sake, Matt. Okay, this is blocks, though, right? Hmm. Hey, buddy. Okay, we can't get in. There's nothing around to suggest the code, right? Hmm. What's this? Memory chip. It's been formatted, but that just means it's someone else, oh, for God's sake. Uh, there was someone else to talk to down here. Maybe he knows the code. Yes, a, li a life corp employee. Hey there, buddy. I'm here to collect. Sign here, please. Oh. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. And don't talk to the package. Don't what? You'll see what I mean. It won't shut up. It's going to Avalon Heights. They're expecting you. E nine six five E. Got you. Ava, are you the package? Driver one four FC. This is an automated message to inform you that you have received your first and final warning for a delivery violation, misdemeanor number zero zero one, failure to deliver to recipient through gross negligence and or crisis of conscience. Further infractions will result in termination of your employment with Cloudpunk. Please note that if your contract is terminated, remote access to your HAVA will be severed at the point of termination, and you will be liable for any loss or damage to you, your body, or any other third parties if you make an unscheduled, uncontrolled landing due to sudden loss of vehicle control. Please reply with yes if you understand. Yes. <laughs> Audio confirmation of infraction report received. You have been warned. Doesn't Control have anything to say about this? Control is currently unavailable. Ava. Hmm. Oh, I completely forgotten the code because I was talking to Ava. C695E. D695E. C six nine five E. If you or anyone you know has augmented infected by the virus Palin 2.0, you must inform CorpSec immediately for a mandatory surgical No 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 no. Uh C nine six five E. That sounded right. D nine six five E. It was 965E or 695E, right? Three nine six five. Oh, it's written at the top of the screen, Mark, you idiot. There's no B on the thing. Oh yeah, there is. Oh, you couldn't see that, so it makes me look like slightly less of an idiot because you couldn't see it. <laughs> um, package. What's in the box? Hello? Um, we've been ordered not to talk to you, box. I've got some coolant. I can repair this lift. Where are you taking me, lift?
Okay, so we've discovered a new place. Okay, so if we repair bits in the city, we'll be able to access areas that were previously inaccessible. Fascinating. Have I seen a mouse? I sent a fetch quest. Have you seen my little one? Oh, she, she looks must awesome. Be here somewhere. Little one? My white snapper, my little mouse. Have you seen her? Uh-uh. Um, no, sorry. Okay, so we need to look for a mouse. Apparently. Hey, Nesta. Nesta Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally, I don't sell to your kind, but business is hard these days. Are you an android? A cybernetic arm for nearly five grand, or liquid... I did it again. Liquid sun, liquor, when nothing else helps. I'd like to sell some stuff. Um, oh, steel parts. I can sell these, right? It's ruined. All right. That'll See you later, Nesta. Damn tourist. Mr. Cray will never remember the kind stranger. Okay. Um, where's this item? Hmm. The Fisherman. Popular magazine in the Marrow. This says they used to catch giant glowing green fish in the bay before Corpsec started changing, uh, charging a thousand limbs for a permit. Corpsec seems to be like numero uno around here, right? Like a government unto themselves. Uh, she's looking for a mouse. Maybe we can find it somewhere. I don't know how we'll find a mouse, but... He's selling a cybernetic arm for a lot of money. I can't see a mouse, guys. Hmm. Maybe the food vendor's got it, I mean... <laughs> uh, what was the mouse's name? Hey, Joe Ham. Hey, lady, you should try our noodles. I'd love to. We fried them with the chili out like they do out east. Nice. Why do you think I'd want that? I love spicy. Because you ain't from around here. Am I right? Do I stand out that much? Sure, but you're talking to a guy with half a metal face. I don't exactly blend in here either. <laughs> in Novalis, you do. I see lots of people with augments. These aren't augments, lady. I was in the war. That's where I learned to cook. Well, I don't like chili oil in my ramen. How about gyoza? Gyoza is a different story. You got any? We did, but now I can't justify making more than two or three dishes. No one comes by here no more. Oh. How come? See that elevator over there? Well, that just fixed. It went nuts, and now it won't carry people up to the transit station. I just fixed it, this dude. This was the main route to catch the train. Without the elevator, no one walks by. The elevator went nuts? Yeah, it sure did. I tried to talk sense into it, but it says it will only talk to an automata. The damn thing told me humans are only good for eating. Maybe I could talk to it. It don't talk to people. I have an automata. Maybe he can help. Knock yourself out, lady. Um, this elevator. No, no, oh. Where's, where is that on the map? Talk to an elevator named Gog, or Gog, Gogothor. Is that not this elevator? Hey, turn purple. Hmm. So, which bit are you talking about there, friend? Hey. 
Joe Ham. Huh. I don't know where he's talking about then. Oh, it's it's on our map. Okay. Oh, the blue the blue waypoint. Oh, okay. All right, let's go talk to this ele Let's go talk to this lift. Down drive. Got Gothwa. Hello there, got Gothwa. Um, hello. Are you the people. elevator that eats people? I am oh. Gothwa, child of Kara and destroyer of worlds. Hear my roar and quake in fear, for I will consume. <laughs> oh, uh-huh listen gorgothoa my friend joe isn't getting any business because people can't use you as an elevator anymore any chance you could go back to just moving people up and down the destruction of mankind <laughs> is my goal nothing less will satiate my hunger i will speak no further with your kind how do you consume, I consume them? Humans. I do not converse with them. Camus, come in. Are you getting all this? Can you talk to Gorgothoa, please? Hello, Mr. Gorgothoa. I am Camus, an automata just like you. You are nothing like <laughs> me. I consume the souls of humans. You serve them. How do you consume them? Within my belly, I swallow them whole. But then, where do they go? What do you mean? They just get out again, but on a different floor. That is what the humans All right, want. that's, that's so what he thinks you he's doing. So you are them too. Nonsense! <laughs> I excrete only the waste. But you are not working now. I mean, you are not eating them. I grow weary oh, dear. of their flavor. We need to convince him that he's not really eating the people. No, I have another idea. Gorgothua, what do humans eat? I do not understand. Well, you need to eat humans to survive, and they need to eat to survive too. Have you tried ramen? Why would I waste my time with human food? Well, you're broken right now. I mean, you're not eating humans anymore. They taste bad, right? What if you ate some ramen with them? Perhaps. What if every human came with a side order of ramen? A delicious noodle side dish. What if I tire of ramen? <laughs> then there is always gyoza. Very well. Uh. If humans come to me with ramen, I will take them up to... Uh, I mean, I will willingly consume them. Yes. Thanks, Gorgothua. Excellent. That was funny, man. I'm starting to, you know, I think that when you when you jump into a cyberpunk game, you, you kind of think it's all going to be deadly serious, but it's got a nice sense of humor so far. And that, that was pretty funny, man. There's always something really funny about anyone or anything that takes it, itself painfully seriously. And that voice kind of reminded me of uh, the evil, the bad guy in Horizon Zero Dawn, but that is actually serious. Hey Joe. Life Sorted it out for you, buddy. I have some very good, very weird news for you. The elevator working again? Yes, but only for people carrying a bowl of ramen. That's that's amazing. I can put up signs. Free elevator ride with every bowl. Don't thank me. Thank my automata, Camus. Hey, thanks to the both of yous. I'm gonna whip up a batch of gyoza as a thank you. Nice. Come back next week or any week after, and you don't gotta pay me nothing for your dumplings. Perfect. Excellent. Two steam, two steam achievements. Fabulous. Uh, well, we haven't found the lady's rat, so uh, I'm gonna deliver the package, the talking box, to Avalon Heights. Oh, 
Let's go. I've never heard the name Rania before. Rania. Does it sound a bit Middle Eastern? I'm not sure. Rania? Yeah. Uh, speaking of boxes, I did actually watch Seven, you know, the Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt film. You know, what's in the box? Uh, like yesterday. I just had a itch to watch like a good detective thing. Because, you know, because I found out that about the... the Hello, Hello box. Can you hear me? We're not I supposed to talk you, to box. you. How are you today? Camus, we're not supposed to talk to the box. I completely understand. Uh... Uh, are you an android too, Camus? Fine. You can answer him, Camus. <laughs> I am an automata. I am a dog. Or a car. I am a dog car. How strange. Yes. Hey, fella. You're a box. That's I true. I am in a box. My name is William. What are you if you're not a box? I told you. I am William. But what are you? Uh oh. I was a sous chef in Little China, but not anymore. I'm moving up in the world. In a way that makes me sad, too. How come? Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. That will be a shame. But it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights. I can't wait. What will you do <laughs> up there? I don't know yet. It's exciting. Maybe I'll be working as a personal assistant to some pop star. Or maybe even a CEO. Perhaps I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire a human one day. <laughs> oh, no offense, driver. None taken. Oh, dear. What's it like being a driver? I love to hear about poor people. Now that I will be rich, I might even be an organizer for charity dinners. You won't be invited, of course, <laughs> but I would talk about you. Thanks. And I've only been a driver for a little while. I was a musician. Perhaps I shall be a musician. Of course, I will be too rich and too busy to <laughs> learn to play. But I might get some augments so that I can perform. Maybe the saxophone. Uh-huh. Rania lost her home and we were evicted, Box. I mean... William, we had to move to the city. Oh, why? Debt corpse. Oh, yes. They can be very unpleasant. I have heard. She had to sell my body for money, too. A circumstance with which I am familiar. I sold my body also. You see, a chef's android body is worth a lot these days. My body was the only part of me worth anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. Can we open the box to see him? I want to see the head. No, we're not allowed to open the packages. No, don't do we're that. We're not supposed to speak to them either. I am sad. <laughs> You'll get over it. Yes, doggy. Don't worry. One day you will have a lovely body like mine. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm sure it will be something good. I traded my old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the spa. Oh, carry on, please, 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 please. That's why I was waiting there. Oh, thank Surely God for that. They have the best Android frames there, too. Oh, but I didn't cut him off. And yeah, we could do with stopping at a mechanic at some point just to see what's there. I'm liking the quirkiness of like the androids and the AIs. You know, the accents are all over the place. It's great. Hey, we need to park uh, over here. We not go up, that's where the car park is, right? There we go. Wow, it's so layered, man.
Awesome. Right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this package over here. This uh, sous chef. This very eccentric sous chef who cares not a lick for our feelings. Another lift here. Deliver payload to Reginald Buckley. Where is that exactly? We need to go down. Yeah, we need to go down. Or up. Maybe we needed to go. Wow, we're going so high up, dude. Okay, some more coolant. Oh no, I used battery. The uranium in this battery hasn't fully degraded yet. Should yield in some limbs if I sell it to a vendor. Okay. Uranium in batteries. Sounds horrendously dangerous. Yeah, the music just needs to be a bit more constant, right? through here then. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Reginald. Are you going to be stuck up and pretentious as well? Hello, we have a delivery. His name is William. We shouldn't know that. I'm the supervisor for this shift. Domestic Android Supervisor, Reginald Esquire. Esquire. Senior. You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no. I am a refuse disposal officer with cleaning functions. <laughs> the senior refuse disposal officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digitlux Cleaning Unit 3000. And you will be working on the 3,287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. <laughs> Sorry for what? I am to be the junior apprentice. Please pass me over to Mr. Buckley. I am keen to get to work. And you do understand that we can no longer be friends, right? Yes, we do, William. I like you and your pet human, but it just wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh, I understand. I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. Camus sounds exactly like the dog from Up. You know, when they've got the collar that lets their thoughts. You are my best friend. Dear me. Okay. Another memory chip. Uh, I don't know how the saves work in this game. Do you miss William? I do not. No. Okay. Me neither. Well, we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have oh, a home. Nice. Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a Cloudpunk salary. No pool, no butler. I'm not even sure we have running water. Maybe we can go somewhere nicer if Cloudpunk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Novalis. You need to prepare yourself for that. Even this place might be too expensive. We can't afford to mess up. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. I understand. So don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. I am still excited. How do we call the lift? A 
Hello. Antique video games. Okay. Alright guys, uh, I think I'll leave the episode there. We uh, we had to make our kind of first decision. I don't know how, you know, important some of these are going to be, but we, it sounded like we were delivering a bomb. Uh, so we, we took a, a perhaps stupid decision to, to cast it aside. It's given us a strike now, so we might lose our job. But uh, we met William, we did a little side quest involving uh, a rather intimidating sounding AI. Uh, that thought he was devouring people when he was just transporting them. So yeah, it's got a cool sense of humour, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's, it's, it's nice, it's quirky, and we're yet to kind of see where the main story's going. So I'll leave it here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you back in Novalis.